judge about. But first, I gotta say, I really don't want to say goodbye to Houston, you motherfuckers. You guys pretty much embody the heart of fucking rock and roll. So I want you to know that for the fucking future, all right? So the next band that comes through here, you do this for them, all right? So what I want to talk to you guys about is I, I was reflecting as this tour was starting and I was thinking about how you get where you're at in your life and maybe how the guys of the band got to be here. And I was thinking about when I was a kid, my grandfather used to come home from work every single night and he would put his keys, some change, and a pocket knife on the table. And I remember as a boy I would take that pocket knife and I wasn't supposed to touch it and I would go out and I would do what boys are supposed to do with the knife. And I would trouble and the next night he would come home from work and so on and so on and I was grounded for months for doing the same thing over and over and then one day I came home from school and we were very fucking poor so I know my grandfather had to do something extreme like sell something to make it happen but there was a brand new pocket knife sitting on the table for me and I never will forget that moment I still carry a knife with me every day since that day and the knife represents something to me. It represents, if you want something bad enough, you keep doing it. And I promise you, if you do it over and over and over, no matter what anybody tells you, and even if somebody else thinks it's wrong, you keep doing it, and it's gonna fucking come true in your fucking life, and you're gonna hold it in your hand like that. And that, is exactly what I did and Tommy Lee did, Mick Mars and Vince, and we kept coming back and we kept fucking doing it and people told us no and we did it anyway and we, we fucking left a lot of fucking wreckage and a lot of wreckage and I gotta say and we fucking stood our fucking ground and we stayed Molly Crew from day one and we will not apologize to the music industry Actually, the very opposite. We encourage rock music to keep fucking living on and fucking on, no matter what the fuck's happening. I have to say, there would be no Motley Crue without you motherfuckers. You made it happen. You are Motley Crue. So basically, to wrap it up, Thank you guys for letting us be that fucking knife in your life.